Okay. Okay, so we are um, at our hotel's quick service location. Um, there's currently a huge thunderstorm going on outside. We're watching bolts of lightning come down from the sky. Um, so we're gonna wait it out here because we decided to come here and get... Yeah, that was one. That was, that was one. So, um, so big. Yeah, so we decided to come here and get some coffee and soda and stuff and probably shouldn't have so we're gonna wait out the Yeah, storm. we came here and it was really close yeah. and now we realize how close it actually was and we shouldn't, have, we shouldn't have made that walk. Crazy people out on the bridge right now. Crazy people. Don't. Ooh. <laughs> but we're gonna talk about Epcot. I'm gonna let <laughs> someone die. Thunderstorms. <laughs> okay. Um, so we went to Epcot today. Mm -hmm. um, First thing we did was Spaceship Earth. Yes. That's best, best for that. Did you like Spaceship Earth? It was really cool. It was awesome. It was really good. I love I Spaceship it. Earth. It was really you, cool. Everyone has to go on Spaceship Earth. Yeah. It was. It was really good. It was a lot of fun. And we got um, a little video that you said you had never seen before with the biking and the... Yeah, yeah. So at the end of Spaceship Earth, they give you um, a bunch of different questions and you answer them and then um, then it like prints you out your future and um, it takes you through a little show of your future. And we selected these different options of stuff that I've never got before. Um, like we were gardening and we were living in the country and it was really, really cool. So I was glad that they... It was something new that I never got to see before. Yeah. That was really cool and fun. Yeah. So, we went on the Frozen Ever After. Yes. The new Frozen Ever After Frozen in the Norway. Frozen so Pavilion. good. I kept complaining because it took out Maelstrom and mm -hmm. I love that ride, but Frozen was, it was really not good. Bad. It was really good. It was a lot of fun to go through. It the really animatronics was. were fantastic. Mm -hmm. People did not lie. They were very advanced and... Um, I I was just really really yeah. like loving it the whole time. It was I just really couldn't good. stop looking around. Um, it was good. It was really really fun. Yeah. Then what did we do? We also went on Living with the Land, where they they basically do like a, a brief um, history about how our land is and how everything grows, and then they take you through Epcot's. Um, different type of gardening yeah. like uh structures so they do vertical gardening they do um hydroponics they do a bunch of different gardening um and then they those are examples of the food that they provide for the walt disney resort um and it's really really cool to see all yeah. the different stuff it was really cool and, and the story was really cool the whole uh, history part of it was really nice to learn about and stuff yeah and then we ended up uh at the garden grill you sit where we we ate dinner you sit above that ride yeah. so we got to go through it in the morning and then at dinner time we got to go eat at the restaurant that circles that yeah, ride it, so it was really cool they say it takes about an hour to get all the way around yeah it slow, moves very very moving, slowly so and it circles around it so yeah. that was cool it was like yeah. we came full circle yeah um we also got to meet the four characters chip dale Pluto, and mickey yeah let's talk not talk about dinner yet okay <laughs> okay <laughs> what else did we go on uh, we went on the uh, the seas with Nemo and friends. Yeah, yeah. So that was that was really cool. And that fun. was cute. Um, and while we were in there, I got a uh, fast pass for Soren. So that was good. Yeah. Um, but we went to the Coral Reef restaurant after that. We booked it from like place to place to place. Yeah. Because we got a lot done in the first couple of hours. Um, and Coral Reef restaurant was really cool. Um, so you sit in this restaurant and it's under the Seas with Nemo and Friends tank of fish and sharks and um, stingrays. stingrays. Yeah. So we got to sit there and we got to see all of all of them. And it was so cool. It was yeah, really, it was, really great. It was a really good like themed uh, restaurant and stuff and it was a lot of fun. We didn't sit in the best seats, but we sat in really good ones. Yeah, we could see at least two of the windows. Mm -hmm. And our server was great. He gave us free dessert because mm -hmm. it was our honeymoon and um, it was really, really cool. He was a nice guy. Yeah, that was, he was a really nice guy. Um, and then after that, we went on Soren. Mm hmm And what do you think of Soren? It was really good. It was really, really good. You told me it was outdated, dude, from like 
um, Flight of Passage because we yeah. went on Flight of Passage. It's the same and concept as Flight of Passage, almost the same exact ride yeah. without the VR, without the movement. Yeah. Um, but it was it was really good. I really liked it. Mm -hmm. It was it was pretty immersive and stuff, and it was a lot of fun. Yeah, we weren't sitting in the best seats. There's only one row of seats in the theater that. Um, oh my God. Okay, Jeez. so there's only one row of seats in. Okay, there's only one row of seats in the theater that um, that are good, and we didn't sit in those seats. No. Uh, so I was trying to tell Shelby, like, don't look to the side, don't look down. Yeah. Just look in the center so to, that... I had to look at the center of the screen, because if I looked down or to the side, you could see, like, the structure that everything was on. And it kind of took you out of the emotionalness. Yeah. But I, I just focus on the screen. It's really beautiful. It takes you around the world and stuff. And... I hadn't seen the new update. When I saw it last, it was around California, and now it's around the world. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, it was really fun. I liked it. What did you think of Imagination with Figments? That was really fun. That was a lot of fun and stuff. It surprised me some some parts with like the screens going down at the end and stuff. Yeah, the screen going down at the end is, is the best part. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. Um, the best part for me was seeing the picture of Robin Williams with Flubber. In the queue line. Yeah, in the queue line. <laughs> So the line, he could have just got off there. I like Robin Williams a lot. Okay. I know, I know, I know. My favorite guy. Um, and then what did we do after that? We did we go on test track? No, test track was later towards the end of the day. We went to uh, the pavilions. Oh so yeah. So we went to the UK pavilion. So that was a lot of fun. We got to look at the teas and the different buildings we and stuff. We walked through the gardens. That was yeah. cool. We didn't meet Alice and Mary Poppins, but we saw them. Yeah, we got to see them and stuff. Um, and then we went to France. We spent a lot of time in yes. France. Um, it was really great. We saw Impressions to France. And um, then we went to a little coffee shop. We got a gluten-free um, macaron and some French huge like fancy french espresso um, it was the best thing i've ever had yeah it was so good like the machines were huge not the yeah. coffee yeah the um, coffee was a small it, little guy it's but. like a uh the patisserie um something like that really really good um everybody there speaks french like just yeah. they're talking to themselves in france French, they're they have French accents, so it's kind of hard to understand. Yeah, it is hard to understand yeah. them. They're like yelling at like each other in French, and yeah. you're like, oh, what are they doing? Um, and so that was really cool. And then we went outside and we saw a show. Um, it was almost oh, yeah. another acrobatic show, and I sat like in the the front. The guy like called me out and had me sit like right there. Um, and they didn't do anything with me, but they just oh. had me sit in a chair in front of the whole thing. Um, it was really cool though, because they like. One they, guy they, juggled like wine bottles and stuff. Yeah. And then the other guy stacked. They like so they put a chair on the on four wine bottles and he had to get on that chair, but he had to stand on it. And then they gave him another chair and he stacked that chair up. And then he had to like stand on that chair and he just keep going up and he was doing like handstands and stuff on them. And he's nicknamed the Whistle Guy. So if you've been to Epcot before, it's it's the Whistle Show, the Whistle yeah. Guy Show. It it was really cool though. I, I liked it a lot. Yeah. It was a lot of fun. It was like. Like, it had me on edge the entire time. I thought he was yeah, going to fall. Yeah, that oh. guy's talented. Oh, my goodness. He got up to five chairs. Yeah. And one-handed stand on a table on bottles with five chairs on wine bottles. Yeah. They're, they're fake wine bottles. They're very, very heavy, solid bottles. But that's still amazing. Yeah. Um, they're not they're not any thicker than a regular wine bottle like no it, was it wasn't like, like they were fat yeah they're, like they're the leg of the chair fit perfectly on it like if it moved like an inch it was done for yeah so um and then we went to japan and i got a pick a pearl mm -hmm. um and i knew how to say um how to count three two one in japanese and the lady was like super surprised yeah. she turned to shelby and she was like is she japanese and we're like no but no, yeah. um i didn't even know that i remembered that i just remembered it like as soon as she asked me she's like uh, we're gonna say three two one and we're not gonna say it in, in english and i was like yeah son me ichi and she was like oh what yeah. <laughs> that was really cool um and so i got a pearl it was a size seven which is the most common one that gets picked size mm -hmm. six is apparently the average um but it was really cool i got an ivory um champagne colored one and we're gonna go to downtown disney and get a setting for it mm -hmm. So that was great. That was like a, was a lot of fun. really nice, nice gift. Um, but it's cool because you, you have this tank 
and um, there's these oysters sitting inside and so I got to go through all the different oysters and like choose which one I wanted and then I got the pearl out of that oyster so I tried to find like the oldest most raggedy oyster because I figured that would be like the biggest pearl since it's been like marinating in there for a longer time <laughs> um, but I just got like the yellowy one I yeah. guess um, but it's really cool it's a really cool experience and I loved it um, we went shopping around there and we looked around and stuff mm -hmm. in the Japanese pavilion. They had a lot of cool stuff. They had a little, uh, like, an art exhibit for Japanese stuff. Yeah. Like, uh, famous Japanese art that they do, basically. Yeah. Cool um, they did, it was called, like, the cute movement. Yeah. So it was explaining, like, why um, Japan is seen as, like, the, the cute thing. And it was um, schoolgirl uh, like movement or something like that after World War II yeah. which was a little bit confusing but it's obviously something that happened because it Japanese stuff is always yeah, like they have all cutesy that. anime like yeah. really really I don't know prominent in there mm -hmm. which is complete contrast from China so it's yeah it's it's really cool to see yeah um, and then, then, then we walked out and we saw the, the big drum they were drumming oh yeah in in japan they yeah. were they have like a, a they used to be a family i don't know if it's all a family but they're like drummers and they drum these huge yeah, drums big drums it's like, like this big deep beat that they're doing and you see these people like having to put their full body into yeah. into one hit of that drum it was insane yeah um, and then we went to Test Track. Yes, then we went to Test Track, and that was a lot of fun. Yes. I made my version of the Batmobile. Yeah. That yeah. That was a lot of fun to try and do. Um, made the power go up, and the, um, oh, what was it called? The responsiveness. The responsiveness, went up. yeah. The, yeah. Made the responsiveness go up. I only won in the responsiveness. Yeah, but you got second place overall. Yeah. So that was pretty good um, out of everybody in our car. Yeah. Um, and then we went to the Garden Grill for our. Shelby's got to choose like an expensive dinner, and I got to choose an expensive mm -hmm. dinner. So Shelby's dinner was the Garden Grill because it is the Chip and Dale and mm -hmm. Mickey and Pluto that you get to meet. So yeah. did you like that? That was a lot of fun. That was definitely. I'm like a really good, probably my favorite experience at Epcot all together. So it was a big, big lightning. Um, but that was a lot of fun. We got to see Chip and Dale and Pluto and Mickey, and they had a lot of fun with us. They were messing around. I offered to share my food with them. And uh, was it Chip? Chip was going to take it, but Mickey was standing behind him, just yeah. disappointed in him. And so yeah. Chip was like, oh, okay. And that was left. cool. That, so was that was cool. Cool interactions there. Definitely a great place for interactions with the with the characters there. Yeah, and we got so. their signatures on our, mm -hmm. our special button, so that's really cool. So that was a lot of fun, yeah. Yeah, it was, it was really good. Mm -hmm. Um, and then we went to Mexico because Mexico Pavilion. We we planned to go all day, but I was kind of getting a little um, little wobbly, mm -hmm. so um, we decided to cut it short. But I really wanted to go to Mexico because Mexico is my favorite pavilion, um, and they had a bunch of really cool Dia de los Muertos stuff. So um, we got to learn about the history of the Dia de los Muertos holiday, and that was really really awesome because yeah. I didn't really know that much about it. Yeah, if you if you don't grow up with it, it's kind of hard to understand it. Basically. Yeah, um, I thought a lot of different aspects were cool. Mm -hmm. um, it used to be a month long. The Lady of the Underworld would open up the the gates for one day so that the dead could return to their loved ones. Um, I mean, for one month, um, and then now they only celebrate two days. November 1st and 2nd yeah. so um and then a lot of times there's these different sick big bug big bug there we go there we go <laughs> now they do it two days out of the month November 1st and 2nd yeah um and there's very <laughs> significant um figures that are seen um so overall skulls and skeletons in Mexican culture I guess are very um they're shown a lot they're not supposed to be scary they're supposed to be like a way of being comfortable with um and familiar with life after death yeah which is really really cool i liked that yeah, a lot it said and one of the things it said that they teach their kids to to understand that one day they will die and to be okay with that yeah and to accept that as just a way of life which is really cool that they do that i think because mm -hmm. i think a lot of people get hung up with that that thought and, 
can be kind of depressing. Yeah, and um, they usually will have like a bride and a groom um, figure of like skeletons dressed in mm -hmm. like bride and groom clothing, and that's to represent um, like the bride and the groom, how they're, they're together even after death. Um, and they have uh, a lady that has like very elaborate clothing and really, really elaborate hat, and that uh, was created by a uh, satire artist a long, long, long time ago to show that even, like, no matter how wealthy you are, you're still going to die. So, like, it's a little bit um, humbling. Like, you're not different than the rest of us. Yeah. Um, so. That was, that was really cool. That was stuff. cool. There's also, um, usually, uh, they position or they show all these skeletons doing, like, everyday stuff. Um, and that's kind of, like, the familiarizing with, like, like it's normal like it's normal to die and and so that's really cool yeah. um but that was all that we learned about that and then we got to go inside um inside the i think it's a mayan mayan temple um it's like a pyramid oh yeah like the and mayan, yeah. um it's a mexican market basically and there's all these different um skulls and art and crystals and just so much cool stuff. It's it's supposed to look like nighttime, and yeah. it really does feel like it. The immersiveness there is really really big. It's it's such a cool like little shopping district area, and it's all pretty like uh, looks like or is like authentic mm -hmm. Mexican. Yeah, everything and says made in Mexico and, yeah. or it says handmade, um, so that's really cool. Then we went on um, the Grand Fiesta tour. The three caballeros yeah, which ride. Is, yeah, which is located in that temple. Mm-hmm. I mean, that was, that was really cool. Yeah, it was great. Um, there was a cast member, the one that, like, that is right before you get on the ride. They usually ask you, like, how many in your party. And so we said two, and the guy had us wait for a little bit. And um, he said, what are you guys celebrating? And we were like, oh, we're on a honeymoon. We just got married. And mm -hmm. and um, he was like, oh, that's so great. Like, that's so cool. Like, I'm very happy for you guys. And we were like, oh, thanks. Like, this is a normal thing. It happens almost every time that we get on a yeah. ride. Like, it happens when we're walking down the street. This is not, it's not an unfamiliar thing to us. Yeah. So we were just like, oh, yeah, thank you. And then um, he told us to go in number one. And we're like, oh, yay. He gave us the front. Mm -hmm. And then um, and he said, yeah, you guys are going to go by yourself. Uh, to, to celebrate and I was like oh yeah ha, ha, like that's funny and then like they sat us on a thing and then they closed the gates there was people waiting and yeah. they, they closed the gates on them and they said no they're gonna go by themselves and we were like oh he wasn't kidding yeah, he, he actually let us go on the entire ride on yeah. our own boat by ourselves and then he ended up having the second boat wait a little longer so that there was a nice gap so it was like just so it was us. like just us going through the entire secluded. ride yeah. it was so and that cool. was a lot of that was that was really really cool yeah and he like yelled at us and he said like now you can tell people that you went to mexico yeah. for your honeymoon and it was really awesome yeah i've never was, had a, a cast member do yeah, it was, that much it was so so cool of him mm -hmm. to do that it was really awesome yeah so. So that was probably the, my favorite part of the day, yeah. actually, because like being a former cast member, I like just it's like a big focus, and so we um, we went to the front at guest relations, and we gave him a compliment, um, mm -hmm. which every single person should do to like like every single time something good happens, I have Shelby write down their name so that we can give them a compliment later, um, because that is something that's really really important to cast members. I still have um, a bunch of my little cards. That, that people wrote, um, so yeah, it's yeah. nice. And that was our day at Epcot, and we're yeah. gonna stay here. This is the longest video because we have nothing but time yeah. right now. We, we also did do a lot of stuff at Epcot, but a lot of it is like, it's not like ride, 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 ride. Either. Yeah. yeah, so on a scale of, cause you've been to all four of the uh, Disney World parks yeah. now, yeah. what is, where does Epcot land? What What's like your, your favorites first through four? Well, Epcot, mm, Epcot will probably have to be three. Mm -hmm. I do like Epcot. Um, Hollywood Studios is four. Mm -hmm. Because, I mean, it's great. Right when you first walk in the park, it's really, really great with the immersiveness, but it kind of loses me later on in the park and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, but Epcot's definitely three with the, the pavilions and stuff. It's really cool how in-depth they go with each country, and there's, like, lots to learn about that country. Yeah, we're definitely wanting to go back just yeah. just for the country aspect of yeah. it. Yeah. Because we only really got to go in-depth on three different countries. 
and we kind of had almost all of them planned out. Yeah. So one time we couldn't do it all. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's really hard with Magic Kingdom and Animal Kingdom though. It really is. Animal Kingdom is just great overall, like immersiveness, fun aspect, the learning aspect. It is absolutely amazing. The entire time you were completely immersed. I didn't even feel like I was in Florida or yeah. at Disney while at Animal Kingdom. Yeah. I felt like I was in a rainforest or I was actually in Asia. Mm-hmm. And it was it was really really cool. Magic Kingdom, there's a lot of rides, a lot of stuff to do, and it, it, it's also, like, super immersive. Not as immersive as Animal Kingdom, I'd say, because there were times I could see, like, Tomorrowland from, from yeah. Tierland or something, you know? Yeah. So. I mean, I don't think you can see that far, well, but no. I get your example. Yeah. I kind of over-exaggerate, but, <laughs> um, but I don't know. I had to think even longer about Animal Kingdom and Magic Kingdom, but those definitely tied for first. Well, we have... Two more days planned in Magic Kingdom, mm-hmm. one more day planned at Animal Kingdom, and then tomorrow we're going to Universal Studios. So we yep. have um, four more days of the parks. We've spent four days of the parks, so this is the halfway mark of our, our honeymoon vacation. <laughs> and uh, I'm not going back. <laughs> we're already planning our return trip um, in yep. a few years. So, um, yeah. All right. Okay, bye. bye.